Praise be to Jesus. Today's Gospel and Reflection The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 12 verses 49 to 53 I have come to cast fire upon the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism to undergo and what anguish I feel until it is over. We are all set fire by our Lord and Master and it is the desire of the Lord that we need to aglow with the burning zeal for the Kingdom. Jesus speaks of the fire of Christian love. In other words, a willingness to die to self so that others might live. The life and example of our Saviour instill in us the very fire of love. The Jews were expecting a Messiah who would conquer all enemies and save them. They expected a mighty and powerful king who would bring them peace. The incarnation, life, suffering and death of Jesus proves that Jesus was a king not of this world but of eternity. The teachings and life of Jesus strike at the very root of the social structures which was prevalent in his time. I have come to bring fire on earth. Through these words, Jesus reveals the purpose of his coming into this world to establish the kingdom of God contrary to the values of the world. Fire stands for judgment of God. It purifies to be true followers of the Lord. He calls everyone for a total renewal in the spirit which would break all barriers against this earthly kingdom. The salvation of the humankind was in the mind of Jesus and for this there was only one way to die for the sins of the whole humankind. For those who want to live easy and comfortable life, Jesus' words are like fire. There is always a conflict between the way of the world and the way of the Lord. It is a radical discipleship which Jesus demands from us. It is a less travelled road which is full of thorns and thistles. There would be suffering, pain, darkness and emptiness but the Lord would be there giving the grace and strength to bear all trials and temptations. Jesus knew it was hard to take up the suffering and crucifixion but when he was burning with the fire of God's love he undertook everything for the redemption of the human beings. Jesus calls us for a transformation. It is a call to stand alone for the kingdom values as he said there would be disunity and division. There would be persecution in different parts of the world as we see in the world around. We have to find our security only in the Lord. Let the purifying fire of Christ enter into the darkened corners of our lives and may we be transformed into the Lord. Amen.